Hi guys. I don't know what that arm was doing then, and like, so, um, hello. <laughs> I thought I'd just do a sit down, sit on the ed edge of my bouncy bed, um, and just chat a little bit about memory keeping with you guys. I thought I would just combine, um, like everything, not everything, no, that's wrong. Um, I thought I would combine, um, I don't know really what to call it my photo album project life there we go project life and my december daily um because ba -ba -ba i wanted to say memory keeping but i'm not really talking about gonna talk about um stuff that i do in my journal or anything like that i just wanted to talk about like photo albums i don't know why i did that either <laughs> I guess I'm having one of those um, days today where it's all a bit nonsensical and silly. Welcome to the world of me. <laughs> um, so, yes, I don't very often talk about my Project Life album um, because I don't really show it because... Harry Tom's classic because... Um, <laughs> because it's got lots of photos of my daughter and friends, kids... Um, and things like that in it so I don't show my pages for that reason um, because my daughter can't be on social media and um, also sort of like because <laughs> I said because again it my the way I do my project life album or my photo album my family photo album let's just call it that the way I do my family photo album isn't necessarily the way in which um, people perhaps are accustomed to seeing these sorts of things on social media these days because my album just looks like a family photo album really. Um, whereas these days when you see um, pocket scrapbooking style or photo -y stuff they're all um, heavily embellished and they're pretty and beautiful um, there's all these products on them and all that kind of stuff and my album and my pages are not like that at all now in it's not because I'm not into that and it's not because I don't like that I do like that but <laughs> I I just find it difficult to kind of keep on top of and for me in my albums the prime the prime thing for me is the documentation and that is what I am like the most into is the documentation, the recording memories and all that kind of stuff. So what I do, and I haven't even got the album to share with me because I didn't really want to lug the album up here just to go, here's my album. Um, I use a 12 by 12 album, um, the D-Ring album and it's, it happens to be by Project Life Becky Higgins because I have them from a while and the um, pocket inserts, page protectors to go inside them as well. And the very first top photo is a six by four, always a six by four, and it's always where I write out the dates of the week. I do a spread every single week of the year. Some weeks where there's a birthday or a holiday or like Christmas or something like that, um, sometimes there'll be more than one week spread, but I always religiously, without fail, do a one week spread every week. And I am so proud of myself because I have accomplished this for a couple of years now and it is a really, really good feeling. I am a pathological photo taker. I have lots of photos. I enjoy taking photos. It's like a creative outlet for me, taking photos. And I very much enjoy it and so I have lots of photos to choose from sometimes I actually have too many for a week spread <laughs> although a lot of them are kind of duplicates because I like um, experimenting with different angles and all of that kind of thing um, but yeah I literally just have the one journal card six by four of the days of the, so like the Monday day to the Friday date and then a little bit of a blurb about what we did and then the rest is just photos and every single Sunday every single Sunday without fail unless we've been away in which case it's the Monday or the Tuesday um, every week I sit down and I use my mobile phone which I'm now recording on 
and my Canon selfie and I print out those photos. Now Canon selfies are great, they're not like the world's best photos because they're like a, a portable at home printer but they are fantastic for just recording your memories and getting them done. Like if I was to send them away, I used to send them away to um, a professional company to get developed but I never, t it took me so long to kind of get round to, to, to doing enough to warrant placing the order with the postage fees and then when they came back I was like wow there's just too many now and it just seemed like such a daunting task to to do that whereas this way I find it so much more manageable I do it every single Sunday and I'm literally just looking at that week um, and so I, I yeah it's just so it's just so much more manageable so much easier to keep on top of and as I said like my main thing for me is getting those memories recorded it's the memory keeping that's the most important for me like a little bit of journaling about them and the photos that's the most important thing for me and this year I took that through into my December daily as well um, in past years you've probably seen the flip throughs um, I didn't complete them two years in a row I didn't complete mm -hmm. and I had, did do a vlog about that before Christmas sort of going through um, what I was going to do for 2019 and what went wrong in 2018 and 2017. Uh, so I used my same philosophy basically with um, my project life through to my December daily and that was just get the stuff done. So I made a focus of just printing out the photos, trying to print out the photos as much as I could. Then that was the so that was the priority for me was printing out the photos. Then when I next had some time, I um, printed out did my journaling. And then and then once that was in my album, if I had any time after that, it would be the embellishments and the decorating, because they although they're the nice bits and they make the album look pretty, they're the bits that sometimes are really time consuming and actually don't. They aren't the memories, so they're not necessarily the things that kind of like add to the album for me. They're just like the nice things to have right at the very end if everything else is all done, you know. Um, and so that is why I think I have found it more successful this year, how I've got on so much better with it, because I've literally just been like, right, okay, get them photos printed, done. Get the journaling done, done everything else can just follow later on in fact some of the embellishments and things I still haven't done and that's totally fine with me I have got an entire year at my disposal now to chip away at decorating it if I want to which I might not even do I haven't even decided yet I might not because um sometimes I do actually like the clean crisp kind of look as well sometimes you kind of got to go all or nothing haven't you <laughs> with embellishments and things um and I didn't buy like a complete collection or anything. I've just shopped my stash and have just been like drawing from things that I already had. Um, so yeah, it's not kind of like cohesive and everything. And I'm totally at peace with it because I've got this album now that I can look back on and treasure and look at all the wonderful memories and all the wonderful things that we did over the festive period. So I feel like that's a win. Um, yeah, so there we go. I just thought I'd kind of try and get that out there that if you wanted to start a memory keeping project this year, but you don't feel like you've got time or that you wouldn't want to keep up with it, then I just wanted to tell you that the more you do it, the actually the easier it is because doing it every week just for that week is quite quick. It's quite easy and it's not so daunting. It doesn't build up. For me, I find when stuff builds up, it then feels impossible. Like if I had to do like a month's worth, to me that would be like, I just don't know where to start, you know, that kind of thing. I feel like I feel like doing it bit by bit in more manageable chunks is so much easier to get done. Um, and you know, just to start is my advice for you really, is just start because it's the memories that are important, not necessarily anything else. So yeah. That's my little chat on memory keeping. A weird wavy arm thing again now. Bye.